guys, check this out. Sorry, my voice is bad. I got cold. Okay, I found this. On the news, what could it be? Oddly shaped cloud form has Humboldt asking questions. This wouldn't play, so I tried it again and now it'll play. Damn it, maybe I should zoom. This is amazingly insane. Little piece of puzzle. Okay, ready to go. Hit, Nazi. Oh, it Here out the window at some point today. We're Sorry. talking about. All right, some of you may have spotted it if you were out for a walk or just happened to peer out the window at some point today. We're talking about that weird thin funnel cloud looking thing that had some of you taking to social media wondering what it was. Well, here's what a few of you sent me on my Facebook page. This one is from Carol Rogers, where you can see that funnel there weaving through layers of clouds. Real pretty. Here's another view from Lisa Wheeler Holmcomb. This one off in the distance, but you can still see the thin line there connecting the clouds to the mountains. And Michael Provolt gives us a view from his car, it would appear, that same vertical line coming down from the sky. And one more here from Robin Aurora Wood. Well, we were just as curious as you guys were about exactly what this phenomenon was, so we went over to the National Weather Service on Woodley Island in Eureka to find out. Here's what they told us. The picture you were showing looked like there was some cirrus, some thin high clouds that were across the area, and then also on there was some contrails, which is where they're basically moisture that comes out of an airplane as it's passing through the atmosphere. But almost right. made it look like it was a rocket because it looked like it was coming from the ground, but really it was just the angle that the picture was taken. Um, right. What the cloud was, was up, way up right. high in the atmosphere, coming out of a jet that would have been several thousand feet up in the sky, probably ten to 20,000 feet and up there. And that changed the angle. Elward says the jet that mm -hmm. caused the contrails had to be flying through a place where there's high moisture in the atmosphere, which is tens of thousands of feet high up in the air. He says the pressure wave that's created by the plane causes the contrail to form, which happens all the time. But in this particular case, it just formed at a weird angle that made it look a little funny. Oops. Back out a little bit. So then they wrote all this junk down. I will put the link there. I don't have Facebook, but my second try let me watch it. Serious clouds, right? Blah, blah. Okay, that's the... When the sun goes down, then... The chemtrails look like dirt. Okay, now I want to show you something. Where'd it go? Yeah. Vertical chemtrails. This is actually coming out of Woodley Island, where the where the weather place is. I had no clue it was there until I heard the news about the vertical chemtrail, not contrail. What else do I have? Uh, there's a plane flying by with no trails, but somebody left a trail underneath it. That one's going straight down towards Woodley Island. Same thing, almost all the way down. You'd think a plane would like level off before it just crashed. Okay, those are just some more. There's another Woodley Island. I've been puzzled about what, where they were coming from till I saw... Oh, wait a minute. This was January 2nd. Their vertical chemtrail was January 6th. There's another one. Here, this is where they're coming from. Woodley Island. That one's over the gulch. I forgot the date. I think it was January 3rd. That's just my sun dog. Okay, we're back to the same old, same old. Okay, now I got something else. They're showing pictures of cloud seeding. One on the right is a plane. The one on the left 
is coming from the ground, which is what I've been suspicious of all this time, wondering why they keep coming straight up from the ground. So the people at the National Weather Service place over at Woodley are lying. That's just shameful, they're lying. Because this picture clearly shows cloud seeding. Coming up from the ground. Gosh, this is a crummy video. I just don't feel good. Sorry, guys. But I did one. It says common seeding is a common... Cloud seeding... Good grief, I can't even think straight. Cloud seeding is a common technique to enhance precipitation. Cloud seeding entails spraying small particles such as silver iodide onto clouds to affect their development, usually with the goal of increasing precipitation. Cloud seeding only works to the extent that there is already water vapor present in the air. Critics generally contend that claimed successes occur in conditions which were going to lead to rain anyway, so why bother seeding it, you idiots? It is used in a variety of drought-prone dependency, excuse me, drought-prone countries, including the United States, China, India, and Russia. Yeah, right, and a whole bunch of other countries, you idiots. There's a perceived dependency upon it in dry regions, and there's strong suspicion it is used to wash the air in dry and heavily polluted places, such as Beijing, uh, in mountainous areas of the United States, as the Rocky Mountains, Sierra Nevada, cloud seeding has been employed since the 1950s. China is launching the world's largest weather control machine with the ability to modify the weather in an area similar to the size of Alaska. China has never shied away from doing things on a massive scale. Yeah, we know about that, right? And this is yet another example of the Chinese government working on an unprecedented scale. China estimates it to produce up to 10 billion cubic meters of rainfall each year. For comparison, more than 30 countries get less than 10 billion cubic meters of participation precipitation per year. Saudi Arabia has cloud seeding since 2000s, aimed to increase rainfall by 15 to 30 percent a year. The material used is potassium chloride, sodium chloride, magnesium, and other materials. In the first three months of 2017, the country carried out 100 cloud seeding operations compared to 77 over the same period in 2014. According to Arabian Business, who wrote that during March last year, when the country had two months of unusually wet weather and more rainfall was recorded in Dubai and Aline than when records began in 1977, up to 2014. So anyway, this um, <laughs> this goes on with a bunch of information. So I'm just going to stop it, and this will be part one. Part two will be when I go do a tour of that place with my camera. Thanks for watching. Love you all.